Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. We are on today 27 of the Clean the Clutter and Organize Challenge. And I had to break it into two parts because doing the whole day in one go was practically impossible for me. The cleaning task for today is deep cleaning the dining room. The organizing task is cleaning and organizing the china cabinet. I'm so glad I don't have one. And as part of the daily maintenance routine, we're supposed to deep clean the whole kitchen as well. And that includes wiping all the cabinets fronts and cleaning the appliances. So as you can imagine, that was a lot. And today is Sunday. I have the kids at home. My sister is here with my little niece as well. And it was absolutely hectic. This was one of the hardest videos that I filmed so far. I had already started when it was just me and Nick at home. Noah had gone to a birthday party. And then because the kids had a sleepover with my mom, she dropped them after their stagecoach class. My sister picked up Noah from the birthday party. They went quickly to a fun fair, but the weather wasn't great. So everyone ended up interrupting the video halfway through and as you will see there is constant movement people walking around and it was really difficult but I couldn't just leave it halfway so I at least had to finish deep cleaning the dining area and I'm really surprised the book left it for so long because even at the beginning of the chapter for today Katie Berry says oh the dining room is one of the places that collects the most clutter people use it for doing projects cool work everything so if it's such a cluttered room why on earth are we doing it now and we didn't start with it straight after the kitchen maybe and I have been keeping on top of mine because we actually had the wall removed. So now the kitchen and the dining room are for me considered as one. And legally as well, we actually lost the room because of removing that wall. But whenever I've deep cleaned the kitchen, I've always left this one on the side because it has a few things that require a little bit more attention. And I just can't be bothered. I do vacuum it daily and use my mop whenever I do the kitchen as well. But I hadn't done the carpet and properly down the table and the chairs for a while talking about the chairs you might have seen me wash one of them again I had done them just about a week or two weeks ago two weeks ago I think and they're still in a very good state um, they're still very clean but one of the chairs someone accidentally spilled a can of coke on it so I had to clean that stain and not leave it until a few months down the line when I decide to do all the chairs again. And at the moment I'm cleaning the table legs and then I have to do the chair legs and wipe down all the surfaces everywhere. It did need it. I'm actually looking at replacing this table. We've had it since our old house. I used to really love it because of the design of it and because of these ridiculous legs. But now they are a problem for us because we can't properly push the chairs under the table. We've actually taken three of the chairs to the shed because otherwise with the chairs and the bar stools, it becomes extremely tight when they're sticking out. And we only have about a meter or so gap between the stools and the table so it becomes very difficult and we had repainted it last summer it really needs to be touched up and this is actually one of the tasks for today to repaint or touch up the paint on any furniture which I really can't be bothered to do that and it's pretty pointless the kids would just scratch it all up again and as I said I'm looking for a new one the problem for me is that I don't like the smaller tile tables and they don't work well for us because it is five of us and we host regularly my sister comes around at least a couple of times a week my mom comes over regularly as well so we do need a big table and the only two that I like are actually actually bigger than ours ours is two meters by one meter wide and if it's up to eight chairs whereas the ones that i've been looking at can fit four chairs on each side so it's eight to ten chairs and they're really nice but they are over two thousand pounds each without the chairs so i have to be very sure if i want them and if they will work in this space before I make that purchase because it's not something I want to have buyer's regrets after and have to figure out what to do. And as part of deep cleaning the room we have to wash the walls, the ceiling. I just dry, use the dry 
microfiber cloth to wipe mine down and I only washed one part of the wall that gets very grubby and then I washed the windows, the back of the breakfast bar, the window frame with that sliding door. It's not really a window but whatever. My niece planted a kiss on, a kiss on here before I could even finish. So as I said, today was a really difficult day for me. But I couldn't just stop and I also appreciate the fact that there are many women out there who have no other choice but to clean in the same circumstances when everyone is at home, when there is no one to look after the kids. If they work during school hours, they have no choice but to do it in the evenings or in the afternoons on the weekends, whenever the kids are around as well. So I thought if others can do it and they go through that struggle, surely I can push through as well and give them a bit of support. And you are seeing it's very, very difficult. Hats off to all the single moms out there because I honestly don't know how you do it. You're superhuman. That's like all the single dads as well. I'm not excluding. I've lived with a single mom and with a single dad separately. So I know there are plenty of men in the same situation. And the only reason I sound so calm and relaxed now is because when I'm doing this voiceover, I've already had a shower, I've had dinner, my sister actually cooked for us. So I've had plenty of time to sit down and unwind. I'm doing the voiceover just before seven o'clock and I stopped filming at just before 4.30, so I've had plenty of time to cool down. And in here, I wanted to mention that I've started reading Atomic Habits, and I will see if there are any useful tips that I could pick from it that I can share with all of you and I can incorporate into my daily routine. So it's almost going to be like a little segment of Lily Reed's book, so you don't have to... <laughs> And for now, I wanted to mention that James Clear had started his habit with improving his sleep, going to bed early and keeping his uni slash college, depending on where you are, room neat and tidy. So my loves, we are on the right track. These are the two habits that we are practicing at the moment as well. And then he incorporated studying and weightlifting and the tactics, the tricks, the tips he used for those four habits is what the book is all based on so as he shares his tips I will report them back to you and this is the dining room finally done and I couldn't believe that it's finally over and just look at the state of the kitchen there was no way I'm doing any more cleaning for today my sister had just started dinner and I don't even know what the rest of the house looks like so I will see you tomorrow for part two of day 27. Bye.